And just like that, here we are in a new year after what's been another unrelenting 12 months. And now with the rapid rise in COVID transmissions as a result of the Omicron variant, we can be forgiven for having a sense of deja vu. But as we enter 2022, there is still a genuine belief that things are going to get better. Our game changer vaccines have made that possible. There is much to look forward to in the coming year. We will be launching the Trust new corporate strategy, our roadmap for the next five years. This sets out not just what we'll do, but what sort of organisation we want to be. A place that's inclusive and kind, as well as innovative and ambitious. Above all, we want to make sure that we focus on the things that really matter to our people, our patients and our place. One of the developments that started before the pandemic and has accelerated since is the way that we provide hospital care at home, known as virtual care. We've already won a national award for this in children's services and in care of the elderly. Our ambition now is to spread the approach right across all our services. We call it the Virtual Royal Infirmary, and this programme will help us improve patient experience, make better use of our resources, and even reduce our carbon footprint. Our hospital facilities will still be here for anyone who needs them, but increasingly we will offer alternatives that mean many people don't need to come to hospital for their care. Here's our chairman, Dr. Max McLean, to reflect on more of the things that we can be proud about in our trust and the district's health and care services. The NHS never stops. It's an amazing 24 hours a day service that cares for people day in, day out. But I do realise that it feels like COVID has overtaken everything. That's why I want to praise all our staff for continuing to deliver those other services too during the pandemic, from A&E to cancer and much more besides, and caring for the very young to the most elderly. Thank you all. We have made great strides in transforming our hospital sites to improve patient care. This includes millions of pounds of construction investment into our estate here. Our Act as One Health and Care Partnership is bidding for three new state-of-the-art hospitals for people in Bradford District and Craven. We await a government announcement on the new hospitals programme in the spring. And Bradford has been at the forefront of COVID vaccine research and is now home to one of only a few patient recruitment centres here in the UK. The Bradford Institute for Health Research, which is part of our trust, works on world leading projects which result in real improvements for patients and for communities. Not only do we improve health in Bradford, we help others around the world to do that too. And this year, health and care services take a huge step forward with the further development of our integrated care systems. Now in Bradford, we want this to mean joined up services, people being in control of their health and well-being, and that we tackle any inequality in access and outcomes. This is good news for everyone. Wishing you all a happy, healthy and safe 2022 and sincere thanks to you all from your board of directors. A very happy new year to everyone. Thanks, Max. I couldn't agree more in thanking our colleagues who continue to amaze us with their ongoing dedication and commitment to helping our patients. This includes our wider colleagues across health and care. The NHS is nothing without its incredible staff. This year, thanks to NHS staff and volunteers, we are armed with the protection offered by first, second and booster doses of the COVID vaccine. And I want to end with a heartfelt plea to you all to get protected by getting vaccinated. Here's our Chief Nurse, Karen Dorber, to explain how Bradford District and Craven is making it quick and simple for you to get your vaccination. It's really, really important if we want to help stop the spread of coronavirus that people get vaccinated. It's really easy to do so. You can get one almost anywhere in the city. You can book online or there's a number of sites where you can just walk in without an appointment. If you want to protect yourself and your loved ones and the community, please do get vaccinated. The vaccination 
might not prevent you from getting coronavirus, but it will certainly limit the chances of you being seriously ill or in hospital with it. So it doesn't matter if you need a first vaccination, second vaccination, or a booster vaccination, please get vaccinated. Thanks, Karen. We have to remember that now that there is a fast spreading Omicron variant, we cannot afford to lower our guard. COVID most certainly has not gone away. So please remember, hands, face, space, and get vaccinated. We wish you and your families a happy, hopeful, healthy new year.